Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman that I ever seen. I guess if you said so, I have to pack my things and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Now, baby, listen, baby, don't you treat me this way, cause I'll be back on my feet someday. Don't care if you do, cause it's understood. You ain't got no m you just ain't no good. Well, I guess if you said so, I have to pack my things and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Y'all know it's Vintage Vimber. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys yet another make. And this one is 1961 in collaboration with my good friend and Julie from The Curated Curvy. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I'll be sharing with you another make for hashtag vintage Vimber sewing. Yes, 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 yes. And this collaboration is with my good friend Julie from The Curated Curvy here on YouTube and on Instagram and go to her website to see what she created after you watch this video. So I know you guys are saying like Rochelle when are you going to get your voice back? Guess what? It has gotten better since last week. If you guys haven't noticed and you are new, your girl been coughing, barking like a dog for a whole week. But it's not gonna stop me from doing what I'm here to do and that is talk about what? Vintage Vimber. And today, we are going to be talking about 1961, baby! All right, yes. We're gonna be doing 1961, this pattern right here, Butterick 6318. Eight is the pattern that I chose for this one. So, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour. If you are returning, you guys know what to do. Go get you a quick snack, something to drink. Come on back so we can go ahead and get into this pattern review. So, without further ado, and to keep this short, sweet, to the point, but I'll give you all the deets as well, let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so you guys know that today we are gonna be doing this lovely dress, and yes, your girl looks so lovely in the dress. Butterick 6318 is what we're doing today, so you guys know. I'm gonna get my own pattern description because you know, I did not look at the website. Shh, don't tell nobody. But this is a tie waist dress, okay? So this one has um, bust darts in the front, waist darts also in the front and in the back. It also has dolman style sleeves for sure. You also have a back zipper. You also have like your ties. So the ties attach to the side, but the tie also has a narrow hem that you will create and attach to the side as well. Tie it in the front and then tie it in the back into a bow. It also features a back zipper as well and a full gather skirt and guess what? Your hem is three inch, it's a three inch hem. Now if you don't want that detail, of course you could do a one inch or two inch, whatever suits your fancy, all right? But that is the pattern description for this pattern. Let's go ahead and talk about skill level. So the skill level for this pattern is easy. Do I feel this pattern is easy? Absolutely, yes. I think that the only portion that you may get tripped up on is the ties. And the reason why is because 
Do not, do not attach the side seams before placing your ties on. And the reason why is because you need to um, attach the wrong side of the ties to the right side of your front and back, okay? So it's going to look like the front, so this is the um, right side, this is the wrong side, all right? So what you're gonna essentially do is the wrong side of your tie is going to be laying on the right side of your uh, front and back. So basically, you know, with right sides together on the front, this is the tie, so this is the tie, this is going to be the right side of your uh, bodice, like this. And then underneath here is the wrong, the right, the, the right side of the back, the tie, and then the right side up. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, but that's how you're going to attach. Just look at the instructions and you will get it, okay? Because I'm explaining it and you're like, huh? You'll get it. It's super easy to sew, all right? Let's talk about Notion shoes. So for the notions, the only thing that you will need is a zipper. And according to the back of this pattern, you will need a 22 inch zipper. Now, my zipper was 20 to 22 inches and it worked perfect. Now, from the back of the pattern, it says, it doesn't say invisible or exposed, but back in 1961, I'm pretty sure they wasn't using invisible zipper, but you know, your girl used what she got in her stash. So that's exactly what I did. I used what was in my stash and that was a 22 inch white invisible zipper. So I didn't have to go to Joann's and buy a $3 zipper. Use what she got, all right? It still came out amazing if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and talk about fabric use. So the fabric that I used is 100% 100% cotton from, I believe I got this fabric from Wax Prince Lace and more, okay? So one thing I will say about the fabric is gorgeous, but one thing that I hated about this fabric is it bled and I had to wash it several times with Color Guard in order to get all the dye out. So one thing that I will say, when you have different colors in a white fabric like mine, make sure you put two or three um, little sheets of the color guard to get out all that dye, okay? Especially when you have colors that may bleed like your red. So it did bleed, it, it, it wasn't too bad, honestly. But just make sure that you wash, do, you do not wash the fabrics together, you wash them separately. But outside of that, this fabric is from Wax Prince Lace and More. Enjoy the fabric, love the fabric, thank you so much. All right, also let's talk about pattern pieces. So for the pattern pieces for this fabric, I believe it's seven pattern pieces, if I remember correctly. Don't judge me, judge yourself. No, no I'm just joking. All right, so seven pattern pieces. You have the front, the back, the back facing, the front facing. Then you have the ties, which is the sash. Then you also have the skirt front and the skirt back. So seven complete pattern pieces in order to construct this pattern. Let's talk about pattern sizing. So for this pattern, it comes in two envelopes. The first envelope is six to 14, and then 14 to 22. The size that I cut for this pattern is a size 18 bodice as well as the skirt. Now, uh, when it came to the waist of the bodice, I didn't have to size it up. I was super surprised because on the pattern envelope, it says a 34. I was a little kind of like on the fence, like if it was gonna work or not, but it really did work, okay? Let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications to this pattern? Nope, no modifications whatsoever. Let's talk about did it look like the photos are the, the photos are the dried on the pattern envelope. Um, let me say, y'all see this? Yes. It looks exactly like the photos or the drawing on the envelope. However, I think I should have made the ties either solid red or solid black um, because that's what I was going for, but I didn't have any red or solid black in my stash, believe that, I don't know why. <laughs> but I didn't have it and listen, I should have went with this one, but I went with more of view A. So it is what it is, all right? Let's talk about are the instructions easy to follow? Yes, they are super easy to follow. I 
don't think you will get tripped up at all for this pattern. One thing that I will say that I wish I would have done was add pockets. So this dress does not have pockets. Um, and I think it's because I was fighting with coughing during the sewing and tea and trying to get this done in a matter of two days because I knew that this, um, all the photos and everything had to be done Saturday. I'm filming this Saturday evening, um, right before editing and posting for Sunday, which when you see in it, it is Sunday. All right. Um, but I finished this dress, washed it, pressed it and everything. Um, Friday, actually I finished it Thursday. Um, was it Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday? But I will say this with this dress, because this dress is long, I did let the dress hang for a day and a half. So I would definitely say with the dress that's gathered like this, definitely after you sew it, let it hang for at least 24 hours and then stitch your hem. So I didn't stitch my hem until Saturday morning. So the dress hung for about two days before I stitched my hem in place, all right? But that's just a tip that, you know, I just wanted to give you guys, all right? Let's go ahead and talk about likes and dislikes. So for this dress, I do not have any, well, actually, yes, I do have one dislike. The neck is super high. So I think if I was to make this dress again, I would definitely lower the neckline so I could wear a necklace or something like that. That was the only thing that I did not like, but I do like this dress. I like how it is not like tight up on the body, tight up on the boobs and everything. So I actually love uh, this dress and my husband, he loves this dress if you know what I'm saying. So if you got a hub or a boyfriend or a partner or a friend, friend, girlfriend, make this dress, wear it out to dinner with some pumps. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying. Don't say I didn't tell you. I'm just telling you. Get you some flowers just for wearing this dress, baby. Yes. All right. So anyway, let me stop playing. Let's talk about first time experiences. Um, no first time experiences outside of sewing a dress that have ties. Actually, no. I have a dress that I have ties on the side, which is Simplicity 9041. So it's not the first time that I have sewn a dress that I had to attach the ties to the side. So outside of that, there is no first time experiences whatsoever. Would I sew this pattern again? Yes, I would, but with modifications. I would lower the back. I would make like some puff sleeves or long sleeves. I would definitely trade out the gathered skirt because that's a lot of gathering y'all for a, a like pleated skirt or something like that. Um, but other than that, I love this dress for sure. All right. Would I recommend this pattern to other? Absolutely. I feel like you definitely need something like this. You can wear it for Mother's Day, you can wear it for Easter. It would be a great Easter dress. It would actually be a great Easter dress if you do this dress and use like some lace or a silky type fabric or even some shea mousse. Um, that would be gorgeous as well. But yes, I would recommend this pattern to others. So that's it for, oh, let's talk about my pattern rating. So my pattern rating, I'm gonna give this a four out of five only because it's a high neckline. But I should have known that going into it, but outside of that, I still let it stress, all right? So that's it for this pattern review. I hope you enjoyed. And you guys know, if you, if you came from Julie channel over here, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you join, you like what you see and join the channel so you can see more of my content as well. Now, if you are not following Miss Julie, the Creative Curvy, you know what I'm gonna tell you to do go over there and follow her. She is amazing. I met Julie at the South Florida Frocktail back in June and I bought this to her then and she said yes. Yeah. So thank you, thank you so much, Julie, for jumping on the bandwagon with me. It was a lot of, you know, telling her like, come on girl, you know you so vintage patterns. Don't act like you don't. <laughs> so yes, Julie sews a lot of vintage patterns. So she was one of the perfect persons to ask when she joined me in a collaboration for Vintage Vember. All right, so don't forget to go over to her IG, see what she created. Go over to YouTube to see what she created as well. All right, now, next up, don't forget next week, Tuesday the 21st, you guys will see yet another collaboration and this one is with my girl Sarah from learning so much on Instagram so 
Check out what we create on Tuesday and you wouldn't want to miss it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And since you made it this far, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Also, turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. And don't forget, I hope you enjoyed. Hit the Road Jack by Ray Charles from 1961. And if you have not seen the video, Ray Charles, Featuring Jamie Foxx and Regina King. You gotta watch it. It's a good one. Take care, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.